Flying is a great way to travel in space, but I felt like stretching my tracks again. I was looking forward to having firm ground under my feet again, so I set out to visit my first planet, Mercury. Not a single probe had landed there before me. I realized I'd be the first. The first explorer, Kit. I really like the sound of it. Ever since he was a robot kid, Kit would dream of space, that's all he did. While he put together rocket ships, he would dream of interstellar trips. Oh. <laughs> now Robot Kit flies into space. He wants to know how life is different in this place. Kit loves to learn, he just can't stop. If he gets crushed by gravity, he'll fix himself right up. Cosmics! Mercury. Let me tell you that Mercury is a strange planet. It goes around the sun three times faster than Earth. Which means that on Mercury, we'd have a birthday every four months. Gotcha! The first thing that struck me was how similar it was to our moon. I wondered if I was on Mercury at all. When the sun rises, it will be awesome, because on this planet, it must be huge in the sky. In fact, it isn't really much bigger. Mercury is nearer the sun than the Earth is, but still very, very far. <laughs> Nonetheless, you will feel pretty toasty there. The difference in daytime and nighttime temperatures is huge. Luckily, I was well prepared. I had super cream. And what do we know about Mercury? Longer days, pretty short years, temperature, some craters. Ah, craters. They are so deep! That's enough! Fun! Now where can I discover something? Smetana? And over there, Beethoven! It was no coincidence. Earth scientists named craters on Mercury after famous artists. Goethe, Lenin, Disney. Hmm, since all of them have been named already, what is still left here to be discovered? Nothing new here. Nothing new in here. And nothing new here. Darn it. Wherever I look, nothing that's not been mapped out yet. Oh, oh. Ice? Ice! There's water on Mercury! I definitely wasn't expecting ice on a planet as hot as this. But the sun does not reach inside the deep craters at the poles, so the ice inside them can't melt. I discovered something! I am an explorer after all! Yahoo! I was seriously happy about my discovery. Scientists on Earth definitely don't know about ice on Mercury. Next edition will have a chapter on me and my discovery. Right here as you turn the page. The ice on the poles was already discovered by the messenger probe? Oh no. I was bummed out, but it didn't take me long to realize that it's okay I wasn't first. The important thing is that I saw ice on Mercury with my own eyes. And now, you can take a look too. I will put it back again so it doesn't melt. You'll hear more, my curious friends, very soon. <laughs>